Congratulations, you are one of over 40,000 students who attend Penn State University. Maybe you chose Penn State for the incredible community of students and faculty, or the flourishing alumni network, or even the rush of adrenaline when chanting, we are Penn State, at a football game. Regardless, you are a part of something big here. However, we are won't cut it when you're trying to get a job or an interview. Recruiters and all professionals alike want to know who you are. Even if you narrow it down to being a SMEAL student, you are still one in 6,000. So, who are you? And how are you going to stand out from the crowd in order to achieve your personal and professional goals? Brands are everywhere, and as humans, we have many perceptions about what a brand might look like or represent. In marketing, we call the added value based on mental responses to a brand, brand equity, which is made up of associations and awareness. Brand awareness is the probability that someone recognizes or remembers your brand. If a customer is standing in the snack aisle of a grocery store presented with a plethora of sweet and salty snacks, would they identify your logo? Brand associations, on the other hand, is a deeper perception of your brand. Back to the snack aisle, you might recognize a brand on a shelf, but have an association that is unhealthy. So, you choose another option in your consideration set. The first step in building your own personal brand is taking action to enhance your brand awareness and associations. In other words, finding ways to not only stand out, but to be recognized in a strong, favorable, and unique way. Awareness is all about memory, and memory is all about repetition. For example, if you see a recruiter around campus or at a career fair, spark up conversation, no matter how early. Do this to make a good impression, then link with them on LinkedIn or send them an email to thank them for the conversation. Not only will this repeat your name, but if you mention a specific aspect of your conversation that you enjoyed, it will also cue their memory to recall your interaction. Then later, when you apply for the job, Repeat buzzwords of the role learned from your interaction with the recruiter as well as the job description itself in your resume, cover letter, and even your interview. Notice how the series of touch points cues repetitive ideas over time to sustain their recognition and recall of who you are. Associations will take this a step further, not only reminding them of who you are, but why you're the ideal candidate. Associations can be attributes, intangibles, or experiences that will carve out your competitive position. The goal of this is to come up with things that will leave a strong, favorable, and unique impression on the audience. What are your passions? Jot down things that you like to do, things that you're good at, and things that other people have praised you on. Look at your resume. Can you identify a common thread throughout your experiences that might add value? Freely brainstorm on this list. There is no experience that you can't highlight to be an asset if you do it right. Now, let's narrow it down to identify your point of difference, which entails three aspects. Desirability, deliverability, and differentiability. What does your audience desire from you as a new hire at their company? Can you deliver on these expectations? And finally, why can you deliver on them better than anyone else? Circle the things on your original list that you believe could serve as a point of differentiation, something that they want that you can deliver on better than anyone else. Then encapsulate your point of difference into a brand mantra. A brand mantra is a three to five word phrase that captures the essence of your positioning. This is not only helpful when describing your brands to others, but is also keep you focused when assessing new opportunities, thus fostering the associations that constitute your personal brand. Now that you're equipped with a perfectly polished personal brand, how do you communicate it in a way that resonates positively? Picture yourself across from the recruiter. You're giving them your elevator pitch just as you practice, trying to gauge what they're thinking and not let your nerves get the best of you. You might think that there's no way to know what's going through their head, but actually there is. According to the Trends in Cognitive Sciences Journal, People perceived as warm and confident elicit uniformly positive emotions and behaviors, whereas those perceived as lacking warmth and confidence elicit uniform negativity. These universal dimensions explain both interpersonal and intergroup social interaction. Therefore, the brand resonance pyramid serves as a tool to identify your own facets of your confidence and warmth to help you communicate your personal brand in a way that aligns with the dimensions of positive perception. 
Brand Resonance Pyramid is built on salience, which are the basics. That you're a Penn State student, your major, your year. Then, performance and imagery make up the tangibles, characteristics, and experiences. Performance are tangible instances that demonstrate your competence, while imagery are moments that exhibit your warmth. Moving upwards, judgments and feelings are the intangibles that result from those respective components. So, transferable skills from accomplishments listed in performance and adjectives describing warm occasions listed in imagery. At the peak of the pyramid is the relationship between your brand and its target, for example, a recruiter at a career fair. If successful, the components of your personal brand, Resonance Pyramid, will be in perfect alignment with your own brand mantra, your point of differentiation, what you want them to know about you, as well as the qualities of the role that they're recruiting for and the values of their corporate identity as a whole. Overall, personal branding is about tailoring facets of yourself to a desired audience. Think about this like a signature story. It is authentic and engaging, taking your reader on a narrative adventure that is eventually ignites a positive realization. Throughout your story, there are themes and recurring ideas, so it grabs the attention and is easily remembered for your audience. Your story might evoke perceptions from the listener, sparking conversation and further curiosity. In the end, one might relate your story in a way that builds a strong personal connection. If you are mindful of how awareness and associations play into your personal brand equity and take the time to organize your brand in a way that resonates, your story will be a compelling tool to showcase your added value to any audience.